I had thrown these away and Nick pulled them out of the trash can, I guess. I took these, we took these when I was about eight weeks. I think I was about eight weeks here. Well, I thought I was. I was really only six weeks, but that's really sweet that he took these out of the trash can. Hi guys. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen with my emotions during this video. I'm gonna try and keep it together, but my hormones are still a little crazy right now. So that means that I have been a little depressed and crying randomly. So let's just talk about a recent happening. And I'm making this video in my backyard with Leo running around the backyard because <laughs> I just love being out here and it's so peaceful. Um, so it's a little bit loud, so excuse that. And you know what? I was gonna get ready for this video but and put some makeup on and do my hair. But honestly, like, I don't feel like it. And this isn't really something that I feel like I need to dress up to talk about. This video is not for me or about me. I mean, it is about me, but my goal with this video is to help other women and to help you watching this if you're possibly going through the same exact thing or you do in the future or you have in the past. Um, we as women can do something pretty freaking amazing, which is create babies. However, with that comes the sad, harsh reality that one in four pregnancies end in a miscarriage or a missed miscarriage in my case, which I feel like made it even harder. So I wanted to talk about that today because as you may or not, may not know, and people's first question when I have told them about this, because I'm very open about this and I think that it's not really talked about enough, um, but April 30th, I found out that I was pregnant. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. And I was like, kind of surprised because I haven't been on birth control for like a year. Um, however, Nick and I have been together more in the past few months now since I kind of brought a lot of my animals out to California than we kind of ever have our entire relationship. So I guess I'm not surprised at the same time because everyone's first question is, were you trying? So we weren't necessarily trying, but we weren't not trying. So I guess we kind of were trying. <laughs> um, so we were both kind of having had the conversation like, hey, if it happens, like, would you be okay with that? And I was like, yes. And he was like, yes. So I was like, all right, screw it. So I'll just stay off birth control and we'll just see what mother nature has in store for us. Um, and so April 30th, I found out that I was um, pregnant and it turns out the road trip all the way out here. I was also pregnant and didn't actually know it. Um, so I, sh no, I shouldn't say should be because everything happens for a reason. And I feel like I had a miscarriage for a reason, whatever that reason might be. Um, hopefully it was t to make everything easier for everyone involved, the baby that would have been me, Nick, whatever. So, I always like heard about people here and there having miscarriages, but not a lot of people talk about it. And so I kind of like, oh, it's probably not gonna happen to me. I literally just had all of my um, levels tested on a, a recent vlog, actually. If you saw that vlog, I was pregnant during that blood test. Um, all my progesterone, progesterone levels were really great, everything. I hadn't been taking my testosterone as like much as I should have been. Like I wasn't being super diligent about it. So my doctor told me that that shouldn't have had anything to do with it, but miscarriages happen for unknown reasons. Um, one in four people that get pregnant, like have a miscarriage. So it's extremely common. And so in this video, I kind of just wanted to like quickly talk to you about it. And then I wanted to go over and discuss with you the process for a DNC, which is what you have what happens after you you know find out that you've miscarried if your body doesn't do it naturally 
I had dead cells inside me for about four weeks um, before I actually knew that I had miscarried and it's called a missed miscarriage when you don't have any bleeding or no signs really. So I was six weeks when the fetus stopped developing and I didn't, I had like all the pregnancy symptoms, like my nipples are kind of big right now. I have some stretch marks on my boobs, um, just random other things. And then they kind of like subsided and I never really had any morning sickness. Um, and I've actually had a DNC a very, very long time ago, like almost a decade ago. And I had a very different experience with that procedure than I recently had. So I wanted to go through both of those because everyone is super different and everyone like experiences things totally different. And I just wanted to say too, like I never thought that I would be reacting to this the way that I have been and did and am. I didn't think that I would be as affected. Oh gosh, don't cry. I think it really matters like when it happens in your life and like with who <sighs> because I didn't think that I would really ever like be affected I thought oh like you know if a miscarriage happens like I know it's very common um, and like what you're pregnant for like less than 13 weeks like you know and I was just thinking to myself I think I'll be fine like even when I found out I was pregnant is I was like if this you know if I do end up having sorry I forgot tissue out <laughs> if I do end up having like a miscarriage like I don't think I'll be I think I'll be okay but I wasn't um and just to let you guys know too like any reaction that you have had or maybe you weren't as affected as as I was or maybe you're more affected or there's no right response to it. Everyone is totally different. And so don't think that like you didn't respond enough or react enough or feel enough and you're a bad person or you did too much or too little. Like there's literally like no right way to handle it or to deal with it. It's your own journey and like just give yourself some grace because it's it's super rough. Like you know, when I found out, Nick and I were both kind of like really surprised, I guess. Like, I honestly wasn't even sure if he could <laughs> make that happen for me, um, which is another reason we were kind of like, eh, whatever. Um, but I was really, I started to get really excited. First, I was like, oh, like this would be so much better if it had happened next year. And then I was like, wrapped, started wrapping my head around it and I was getting really excited. And, um, so finding out that I, so I, I first went in for an appointment, um, at this place that I ended up with at, and I didn't realize it was basically like a planned parenthood type of place. They asked me a lot of really weird questions. Um, like if the baby, if the pregnancy was like the result of a rape and like all of these crazy questions. And I was like expecting to just go into like a prenatal appointment and just like, first of all, that's, that's what you want to go do if you're pregnant. I had no idea and I had no one to ask because I didn't want to tell anyone yet. And, um, I mean, I knew I was going to tell everyone at my first, after my first prenatal appointment, everything was verified because I wanted to bring you guys on this journey, whether I had a miscarriage or not. And I had in my mind very much so that that was a possibility. So I didn't, I didn't want to get too excited, but I went to this place and they asked me all these crazy questions that were like, yes, you are pregnant. And then they try to do an ultrasound. They basically do it on your stomach and then they put this thing inside of you to do it as well, which I wasn't aware of. Um, thank God I took a shower that morning, but, um, yeah, so they do that. And then you want to look up like. A, a basically an OBGYN and schedule your first prenatal appointment. They're going to ask you when your last, the day of your last period was. Um, so make sure you have that information and that's what you're going to want to do. So after going to this place, they told me that they didn't know if they saw a heartbeat or not. And at that point I was supposed to be about eight weeks. And so the, everything had not been progressing for two weeks at that point. So they acted like they didn't, they really didn't seem like they know what they were doing. So then I scheduled an appointment at Scripps um, and I went to go see, they basically have you see like a midwife or like a, an RN or whatever first. And they, they did the same thing. They did over the stomach inside. And basically my sack was like this big. And then the little fetus was really tiny. So she basically said the fact that your, I'm sorry, I don't know the proper terminology, but the sack, the circular thing 
something you see in the picture was so big and the fetus was so little, she was like that, and I'm not seeing a heartbeat. She's like, I hate to tell you this, but it's not progressing. And I felt like I, like for some, I, I don't know if it was just like, I was so worried about that being the case that like, I expected her to say that. Like, I don't know what it was or if it was just my intuition, but like, it was sucky. And then in the car, I just like cried. And so I basically said, you know, I'm gonna wait a week to see what happens and see if my body, you know, does what it needs to do and get rid of it. I hate to say that, it sounds terrible, but you know what I mean. Um, and then three days later, I decided that, you know, at this point, I should have been already about 10 weeks and I just needed to go and have, have a DNC, have it finished, get that done with. So I kind of want to talk to you guys a bit about that process and like how that went. Good morning. All right, we have to leave in a minute to get to the hospital. I've got literally this procedure isn't until 1130 and I've got to be there at 915 um, to do like all the intake stuff and all that. So this procedure only takes like 10 or 15 minutes. Um, I really feel like going under anesthesia and stuff is like overkill, but that seems like more scary to me to wake up from and <laughs> all that. So yeah, um, not really like nervous, but more nervous for the anesthesia part, I think. Um, so like I just did this in April too, and I hate anesthesia and I hate coming out of it. So I guess that's what I'll be doing today, but I'll check in with you guys later after everything. I should be done around 1.30 um and let you know how the pain level is how everything went um if it's anything like in the past i think i'll be completely fine hopefully um <clears throat> i'm more so hoping everything goes well and they get everything out i had a friend have a situation where they didn't get everything out and she had it in there for a very long time and like got septic which sucks and nick took time off work to take me today so thank you mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right, but we got to go. So I will, mm, I'll get on here when everything's done. This dress is really, really short. I guess I washed it too many times. <laughs> all right, monkey. All right, baby. Uh, hi guys. It is 7.30. Um, I got home probably around 2.30 and I have just been hanging out. I had I wouldn't say pretty bad, but I had bad cramps up until like an hour ago. I finally took a couple Tylenols or just one Tylenol. Um, and so I'm home now. I've been laying in bed. I have gone through like three pads so far. Nick was so cute. He went into some Rite Aid or CVS or something and like bought pads for me. And he's like, is this okay? I'm like, you're so cute. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I, it was I could feel it kind of coming out quite a bit when I first got home. And of course, m you know me, I'm like loading the tra like six trash bins into my truck and driving up to the house, unloading them, going back to get the rest of them. So I didn't necessarily take it easy right off the bat, but <laughs> Nick, when I got in the truck, put like newspaper under me. It reminded me of, um, what is it? Big daddy or daddy's something with what's his face. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, Adam Sandler. Um, so the procedure today was definitely like worse than I expected in the sense of there was more cramping than I expected my body to have. I sat on a bed in there for two and a half hours. My ass started to get numb. I posted on my Instagram story. I was like, dude, my ass is numb. Like I don't think I went into surgery until like 1230. So they were an hour behind bringing me in there and I was just sitting in this bed and my phone was gonna die. And so I was extremely bored and just like, okay, let's get this done with like, you know, Nick had someone cover for him so he could take care of me. Um, and so I was just like getting a little stressed out about that. And I also had to 
get poked with a needle three different times, which I wasn't really prepared for. But at the end of the day, like everything went really well. The procedure I was told lasted eight minutes. So it was very quick. I just kind of personally feel like going under and doing all of that and doing all of the work before and all the stuff is just overkill. Um, you know, considering I've done this a decade ago and it was like very easy and it was free. Um, I went to a Planned Parenthood. I will also tell you that this procedure is costing $6,300. I do have insurance, but they only cover 60% of it. So kind of in the me middle of the remodel with the house, I was really shocked to hear that. I thought that it would cost nowhere near that. I expected maybe like 1200. So I don't know, but like going through this before not being put under, I kind of feel like the hospital's just trying to make their coin. And so they do this whole, I mean, I'm sure it makes a lot of people feel more comfortable, but honestly, I had more anxiety, like with all of the like talk of like, in case you need a blood transfusion and like going under and getting all these blood tests. And, you know, so that was a little, that was a little more than I had bargained for, but I'm super glad that it's over. Um, it wasn't that bad at the end of the day. Um, I wake up from anesthesia like really well and pretty quickly. So that was great. Um, I forgot to ask what my blood type was and apparently I didn't know this, uh, but apparently you need to know that if you've had a DNC, because if you try to get pregnant again, if you are RH negative, your blood cells or something could potentially, um, try to destroy the fetus should you get pregnant again or want to get pregnant again and they need to give you something for that so if you do have this done you do need to know what blood type yours is and i forgot to ask before i left so i'll have to contact them um but i am doing really well like i was fine like right after i could have literally sat and played a game of cards like i was very with it like my brain was with it like it was great it was fine um I was told by my doctor, uh, I think everyone has a little bit different opinion on this, but I was told by my doctor that did the procedure today. She was really cool actually. Like when I do get pregnant again, I would love to have her. She was great. I really, I mean, I only spoke to her for like five minutes, but I vibed off of her and like got her energy and I liked it. Um, she said that I could basically start using tampons again and have intercourse whenever I felt ready to. So the last person that I saw who did the ultrasound who told me that my my um, pregnancy was not progressing, she had said that I needed to wait like two weeks. Um, and then this lady today, the doctor said that I could basically listen to my body and do it when I felt ready. And I kind of will take the two week thing into account and also listen to my body. Um, and I also asked her, I said, you know, uh, when can we start trying again? And not that we have necessarily made that decision or anything, but just so I know, um, since we're not careful, you know, on purpose. Um, and she said, you should wait till after your first menstrual cycle, which is usually four to six weeks. And, um, I said, well, what happens if it happens before that? And she said, well, it's not going to be the end of the world. It's not a bad thing. She just said, usually we like to wait because you can still show pregnancy after a DNC for a little while. And, you know, we just want to make sure it's viable and blah, blah, blah. So I don't really exactly know what that meant, but I do have a friend who went through the same exact thing that I just went through and she got pregnant. I want to say it was like before her first menstrual cycle. So, um, it kind of seems like, you know, you got to listen to your body and everything, of course. Um, so I don't know what we'll do, but I have some prenatal vitamins coming in. They should be here tomorrow. So I'm going to start taking those and yeah, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. And as sad as this has been for me, and I actually, honestly, I knew that this was a possibility because one in four women's pregnancies end up in a miscarriage. Um, but maybe something were go would happen later in the future that would be even heart more heartbreaking than this. So I just like, that's what I find solace in. And I just, you know, need to take care of my mind, body, and soul and Nick's as well. And, you know, move forward and everything does happen for a reason. And that's all I can like, that's all I can like, 
you know, think about. I'm like, okay, well, that sucks, but that wasn't meant to be, you know, for some reason. So when it is, it will happen. And, you know, uh, that's that. It has been ultra hard to not be around, but like, I never thought I would feel this way, but like, it's been really hard being on Pinterest because obviously I was Pinteresting a lot of pregnancy stuff. Um, it's been difficult because I feel like literally everyone is pregnant or has a new baby and it makes me angry that that's not me. And I know that those feelings are not really warranted in a way, you know what I mean? Like that's not like me to be like jealous and angry with people or at people like ha harboring those feelings, I guess I should say, cause I would never treat someone <laughs> like that. But it, it, I, it, I feel like something was taken from me and they have it and I'm jealous. And so I'm coping with the fact that like, I'm aware that I'm having those irrational feelings and also my emotions and my hormone levels are kind of crazy right now, as crazy as my hair looks. Um, and so that I'm taking into account as well, but I'm looking forward to getting back to maybe a more healthier state where I don't feel those negative feelings because all I want to do is feel happy for people. I don't want to feel like that. So, you know, I talked to someone who's going through a similar thing and she said she can completely relate. And so it made me feel a little bit better because I was feeling like a horrible person. I was like, literally everyone has ultrasounds on their fridge. Like everyone's got baby clothes and little kids and a new baby and there, you know, multiple people that Nick works with are pregnant. And I'm just like, but it, everything happens for a reason. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to make some dinner tonight. I thought about ordering, but I think I'm just going to make something simple. I discovered chopped salads recently. Like I've never had one or something before. I have had one, but like my friend made one and I never knew how much I needed a salad in my life that I could eat with a spoon and get like a bit of all of the flavors in one bite and not get, what is Piper chewing on? She's been chewing on things she's not supposed to. Hey, what do you, what, what is that? Oh gosh, I thought it was an animal. Can you please, so I've spent, I spent hundred dollars buying you chew toys and you're chewing on this stuff. Ay, 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 okay. Well, anyways, um, yeah, so chopped salads, dude, so, so good, so good. Oh, wow, it looks like there's little bugs flying all over the place. I came out with the light too quickly. <laughs> um, so anyways, chopped salads, oh, dude, so good. Like, you just, like, chop up everything that you want and, like, so delicious. That reminds me, I was placing a Sur La Table order because I really desperately need some new knives. I've been putting it off and putting it off to save money but I need them. So speaking of which, I'll make a really great chopped salad when those come in. Oh, holy crap. Mm, I gotta pee. Um, anyways, I got two pads on cause I already soiled my bed a little bit with some blood. So that's fun. I got one way high up in the front and one high up in the back. I'm going to go pee and uh, I will check in with you guys and let you know how I'm doing in the next couple days. There's nowhere to go. But Why are you keeping me company? Like, my sweet girl. You watching junk no, TV no, too? The These two freaking movie. idiots. Discuss discuss. Yeah. Come on. Like, it just is Good really girl. disheartening and it upsets me because she's treating Thank me this you. way and I don't have any choice other than to defend you. And oh. then Jen's like taking. So I was able to you know, I felt good enough to actually get down with it last night. Um, and you really need to just listen to your body when it comes to that. Um, so I feel like I'm kind of finally getting back to normal and it's, it's still really hard to go through because I feel like whether you were trying or you weren't, if you're at a time in your life or a place in your life when you know that you want to have children someday or whatever it's kind of heartbreaking um to like wrap your head around that i mean when you find out you're pregnant that's a, like a lot of like emotions going on like you're just like holy shit like 
eight, uh, seven months from now, I'm going to have like a little human. Like I have so many things that I need to do, you know? And so it's just kind of crazy because you start wrapping your head around it. You get on Pinterest, you get excited and, and it, you, you started eating better and drinking tons of water and you got your prenatal vitamins and you know, you fully invested yourself in the idea that you're growing a human and to go in and be told that it's not progressing is like actually really fucking hard. And like I said, I think for me it was that it's a time in my life and it's the person that it happened with. Like Nick is the person I'm supposed to be with for the rest of my life and we are head over heels in love with each other and we had created a human like that was start, you know, starting to grow and that was really exciting for us. So, you know, I don't know what we're gonna do in the future. I don't know if we're gonna start trying. I don't know, I, we you know, have had brief conversations about it, but my hormones are a little crazy right now still and just kind of messed up. So I definitely need to take some time for myself, but you know, I just wanted to put this out there because you know, a DNC is very expensive and I want to say that I did have one like I said a decade ago or so and I was awake the whole time I was talking about my tattoos it was very easy and I didn't hardly bleed at all um, mind you I was in my early 20s and it was very easy and it was also free at Planned Parenthood um, so definitely know that it's very expensive and check your insurance and stuff and decide what route is best for you and what is best for you um, I've had friends tell me that they've taken these little gnats get out of my life um, I've had friends tell me that they've taken the pill um, to have one kind of natu naturally and it just didn't really ever work for them so they highly recommended just going and getting the DNC so you just figure out what's best for you and I really hope that this video has helped shed some light on the process and the grief and just give yourself some time. Hey Piper, no baby, don't ruin that. She's literally like inside of the lavender plant. Thanks for watching guys. I hope that we can have like a loving dialogue in the comments and support each other. And you know, again, I did not make this video for a pity party at all, I just, thought I would share and I probably didn't share quite as much of the depression portion I like I, sh I should probably talk about that I, I forgot sorry my brain is still like a little all over the place but um I literally have been pretty pretty freaking depressed for about the past week and a half or two weeks now hey baby don't drink that, that I have water for you over there don't drink the pool water grosso um, I honestly didn't think that I would feel that way, but I just felt like I still felt like chubby and like had those symptoms, you know, some of the pregnancy symptoms and I just like my emotions were all over the place. And so like days that Nick was at work and I was here alone, I was really depressed and I would just sit and I would just sit inside and watch TV and like just cry randomly. Um, and you need to allow yourself time to do that. Take time off work, do what you need to do, you know, because you really need that time to heal and you need to mourn the loss of your child. <laughs> like, literally, that's what it is. So, um, you know, be gentle with yourself and just allow yourself the time and allow yourself to feel those emotions and go through them um, because that's really the only way to heal from it, I think, and, like, move on. So today is, like, I would say the first day that I even felt like getting out of bed and doing anything really. Um, Nick was here yesterday, which was really nice. We had a great day and I was able to like put some makeup on and go out and do something and that was really great. Um, we actually slow danced in the kitchen to some music with candlelight and it was just so cute and I loved every second of it. But I'm finally today feeling good. Nick isn't here today and I, I've gotten a lot done and I've been productive and I'm filming this video finally. Um, and I, I, gosh, I did, I wanted to film it earlier, but I just couldn't pull it together. 
if you you know want to share your experience or open up or share tips or advice with anyone in the comments below I would absolutely love that and I welcome it um, if anyone leaves any rude comments you will be banned from this channel for the rest of your life <laughs> um, this is a place for uplifting and love and spreading kindness not a place for anything other than that so I I'm sure you guys will spread love and kindness you pretty much always do which is one awesome thing about the Fox fam so I really appreciate that and um, thank you guys for the really sweet DMs. I've kind of alluded to the fact that I, you know, had a, a DNC and a miscarriage, um, and I really appreciate all of the love and kindness. Um, it really helped me out, uh, you know, reading those in bed when I was very upset and depressed, so I really appreciate that. And my hand is still freaking bruised from that damn IV. Ugh, I can't even believe it, it's insane. I can't believe, and it still hurts. Like Nick was like kissing my hand yesterday. And I was like, whoa, that's like really painful right there. So it's like black and blue or green now. But anyways, that was definitely an interesting experience. Um, and hopefully I don't ever have to do it again. And hopefully the next time we are successful and you know, feeling like you are incompetent as a woman is probably something that's definitely gonna go through your mind. Uh, when this sort of thing happens, but just know that you can get pregnant and that's a blessing and it happens to very, very many, a, a lot of people um, and you're not alone. There's someone on the planet going through the exact same thing that you're going through right now and there's a lot of online help and a lot of online forums and just do what you need to do to take care of you. Um, and yeah, Leo just jumped up on me. So thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I have been talking recently on Instagram stories about coming up with a upload schedule for this channel as well as my animal channel. Um, so I will be getting on that very soon when my mental health is completely back to normal. I don't wanna put any like expectations on myself right now. Um, but just know that is coming. So those of you that get very excited when I upload, thank you so much. And I will definitely be on a schedule soon. So you will know what day and time frame I will be uploading, which I think is going to be great for everybody. So thank you again for watching. Um, I love you guys and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day and, uh, always remember someone has it worse than you. So I don't know, spread love and kindness. I just have been seeing some really fucking shitty gross comments on Instagram lately, uh, on other people's pages. And I just... Imagine if it was said to you. If it was said to you and it would make you feel bad, don't say it to someone else. Anyways, all right, I'm actually leaving now. Bye, guys. Sounds like a motherfucking, like, hawk. Probably is, Leo. You better watch out, buddy. <laughs> I know the video's over, but I was editing this and I wanted to share this with you guys. These are the prenatal vitamins that I'm taking. Um, and I had some very expensive ones from a doctor but I kind of looked at the ingredients and these had essentially the same. So I got these and I also wanted to show you guys my ovulation strips and my pregnancy test strips because they were extremely cheap and I think they're awesome. So check it out. These are the pregnancy test strips. I am already showing, I was showing negative um, about eight days after the DNC. There's 25 in here and they were um, $8.99 and these are awesome. Then this is the ovulation test and it looks really confusing when you read the instructions but I wanted to show you guys the app because you literally take a photo with the, let's see, what is it? It's called pre-mom. So you take a picture of your pregnancy stri or the ovulation um, thing that you, okay. You take a photo of it with this and it tells you your ovulation, um, whatchamacallit. So uh, this was only $7.99 and it has 25 tests. So I thought I would show you guys these. I will link these for you in the description box so that you can, as well as the prenatal vitamins, so that if this is your path and you, you know you, you wanna have these things, you can do so and have it at a very affordable price.